something else here. <laughs> that one's got some shoulder, buddy. Oh, son. Son, dig in on him now. <laughs> Look at that broad tip twist up there. My eyes, see them? <laughs> They've twisted on the pole. See, they're going different directions. The eyelets on my pole. Yeah, he's oh, to fight us. We might have this one. Might have been my tail. That's all right, boys. Feels like blue marlin <laughs> in the Grand River. Uh, hey, that, is that a redneck blue marlin right son, there? Son, that's a redneck blue marlin. <laughs> Poor boy. Mixed with lobster. <laughs> Poor boy tuna. <laughs> son, where's he at? Boy, this one's got shoulders now. I'm about probably, to see it. I thought I about saw it I'll come up I'll probably get right him up there. here and he'll be about two and a half pounds, probably. Just pull his head up a little bit. Can you get your pole down anymore and pull him up a little bit more? Oh, you almost floated that way. Oh, yeah. Son of a gun. I guess you got that off me on too, didn't you? <laughs> you wore out Son. Just watch this one, buddy. All right, I'm going to drop him, all right? You go right here. You broke that pole, you slicker boy. Brand new pole. That's I'm six bucks. I mean, it snapped. <laughs> it snapped right in the middle. Got him. Oh, son. holy cow! Oh, yes, sir. There you go, Terry. There you go. Big old female there. Oh, holy cow. You gotta get her out. <laughs> Vigilante's doubling up right here, son. Woo! Doubling up. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Right there for now, okay? Yes, sir. Sign 2.30. We got on the water, what, 10? 10? 10.30 probably. Maybe 11. Already tagged out, baby. First day, Oklahoma. Outdoor Vigilante's. Woo, keeping it real. Son, doubled up, me and OT. Finished out the day on a double. Broke my pole. I couldn't believe that one. Whew. Boy, Travis, I sure do appreciate you bringing us down here on this. No problem. First time out snagging for me, I know, and I think for these two also, where, they're, where we're getting action like this <laughs> anyways. I never seen nothing like it. Went one time, snagged for two days, didn't get nothing. He brought us down here to Grand River and look what we've got, boys. I don't know how many we threw back. Hey, it's only three o'clock. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't get on the water till what? Mm -hmm. About 10, 11, yeah. something like that. Didn't take us long, boys. And like I say, we've been selective throwing them back. I've never seen nothing like it. I didn't hesitate when you called and asked if we'd go, did I? <laughs> no. I, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't now. <laughs> what do you think, T? Been a blast. <laughs> and well, guess, you, guess what? We get to do it again tomorrow. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> about day two. We got to top these, old guys. We got to top these. What do you think, Peyton? Oh, I think it's pretty fun coming out here. I, I enjoy letting us, letting, letting us come out here and stuff. So you enjoy it, huh? Yeah. You don't want to come again, do you? Might have yeah. to make it a yearly you thing. Want to, you want to sleep in tomorrow? <laughs> we'll come back and get you when we're done. They quit serving breakfast at eight o'clock. So. <laughs> no, I mean, I guess I'll be out here. Hey, I appreciate you. Hey, no problem. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yep. Woo! Now the fun part. We get to yep. skin them. Clean them. Ah! <laughs> To get where you want to be in life, as a man, as a dad, as a hunter, you will carry some heavy loads, and through them we realize that virtues like strength and reliability matter most, from ourselves and our gear. Ultimately what matters is not the weight of the load, but how we carry it. Alps Outdoors. I started this mineral lick about a year and a half ago with just OV mineral and just starting this out in the middle of a pasture where I know big bucks frequent the does cross here at the natural crossing. They come out here, they're not scared. Uh, it's kind of a safe area for them. They've got CRP all around them. And as you can see with this mineral site, how much this has helped the deer, but not only helped me locate 
where the deer are coming from, where they're going to, and that's only gonna equal success in the future. Absolutely. Now this is an amazing mineral site. It's, it's dug out three foot by six foot deep. And you know, I'm looking at this thinking, how do I get one like that? You know, so if any of you guys wanna know how to do this, how did you start this? Well, I got with our, uh, our host, Cody Lucas. He created this mineral with uh, not just killing in mind, but actually the health of the herd. He wanted something that was going to help all aspects of hunting. So he gave me this. He said, try this out. This is my own mixture. It's in the testing phase. So, well, you know what? Yeah. I'll, gi I'll give it a try. And here we are a year later. This is going to be our third or fourth application in this hole. And a year and a half later, we have this big of a hole. We have numerous pictures of big bucks, does, fawns. Every deer in the area is coming to this lake. And this is an exciting time of the year because this is when we really get to see these bucks. They love coming to these licks, especially early. You know, before September, they'll just come in there and nail it, especially with their, their antlers growing. And you'll see them in velvet and get all these velvet picks of these awesome bucks. And it's important to have this out all year round as well. Well, the first day we wasn't on the water maybe four hours or so and we limited out and that's not counting the fish that we threw back and i'm telling you what there's nothing like it i couldn't even hardly sleep that night because i couldn't wait to get up and go after them again the next morning now if you ever went anywhere with terry or i and the outdoor vigilante team, you know that we're pranksters. If you can't laugh, if you're not laughing, you're not living. And if you don't have a sense of humor or tough skin, don't come around us because we're pranksters. Now we got this little rattlesnake that we call Wilbur and we've been known to take that with us and surprise people with it. And uh, I'd asked one of Travis's family members if he was scared of snakes and they said, uh, yeah, he's petrified of snakes. So the next day we're hooking onto the boat and I'm sure Travis was wondering why we weren't helping him hook the boat up. What he didn't know was I'd slid a Wilbur down underneath that tongue by the jack and I was dying for him to come back and wheel that down and, uh, and get a little surprise. So see what happens. Now Travis disappointed me just a little bit. I thought we was going to get him to scream like a girl. All we got was a little flinch. Nerves of steel. What did you think about yesterday, brother? Son, that was fun. Woo! We're out here in Oklahoma on the Grand River. It's day two of our Spoonbill Snagging Adventures with Team Outdoor Vigilantes. We got invited to come out here by one of our sponsors, a good buddy, Travis Robertson of Wicked Liquid Creations. If you got you a gun that's looking a little rough and you don't know what to do with it, go see him. He'll dip out in any flavor camouflage you want. Ain't, it's like nothing you ain't ever seen, son. He brought us out here, had him a honey hole. Of course, we're not gonna be able to tell you no more than the Grand River in Oklahoma. <laughs> so good luck finding them. We thought, I don't know. He brought us out here yesterday, and y'all seen it. Wasn't that amazing? Son, we were hooking him. I think Peyton almost got pulled in there a couple times, didn't if he? If Travis had to grab his rod, he'd have been out there skiing barefooted, I think, with that old big paddlefish he had. And I broke a dad gum rod, son. And it scared me half to death. But this is day two, but we're on them. And I think today's gonna be better than yesterday. We're gonna be a little pickier, I think. 
we're gonna keep just the old big ones, the old big sows. But stick with us, we hope you're enjoying it. We're trying to keep it real and keep it different. This is something we haven't seen a lot of shows doing. Matter of fact, I ain't seen a spoon. I've never seen a snagging show. I've never seen a snagging show, so we made sure we was gonna make an episode of this, and I think it's I think it's turned out pretty good. Yep. Stick with us. a lot of baseball and we had a saying when we get ready to go up to the plate it was called grip and rip and that's kind of what we're doing this morning doing a little grip and rip action catching them like we did on day one and it was slow but it wasn't long we hook into some and then some more and then some more Right there in the tail, it feels like you got a hog on there. <laughs> Bad one, I mean, 
wait till he relaxes his tail because he looks a lot longer when he does. Hold on just a second. There we go. Was I think I'm gonna go for another one. All right. I think I'm gonna put him back. <laughs> I'm gonna turn my back. <laughs> I, I can't watch him go. It's already one o'clock. I can't watch him. <laughs> you let him go. Oh, you let him go. Bum sex. Final step cover scent. The only one on the market that I know of that's 100% all natural. Here in Missouri, we like the cedar scent. They got several scents to pick from. If you like to hunt, trap, you name it, this is the stuff to have. When we run trap lines, we spray everything down with this. It smells just like a cedar. It's unbelievable. 100% natural. When we go to the tree stand, we spray it on. We spray it on when we get in the tree. It's like we were never there. We get ground blinds. We spray it on the blinds before we go in. It's like we were never there. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Final step cover scent. 100% all natural. If you want to bring home bone like this, you better make final step your last step in your sin elimination system. Now I want you to pay close attention to the professional way that my son holds that fishing rod as he's trying to fight this big paddle fish. Now, I didn't teach him that as you can watch here on the video and I know Terry didn't teach him that and Travis didn't. This is some kind of finagled way he's figured it out. Kind of hurts, it just hurts me to watch him, but hey, it works for him. <laughs> there you go, Peyton. Son, look at that, Peyton. <laughs> Son, did that thing have a harness and a saddle on it? What in the world were you doing? Got it? <laughs> Son. Oh, holy cow. Yeah, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Son, that's a good one. Now somebody must have thought that we had a lot of action in our boat because all of a sudden we hear something and Terry says, look up at that. And I look and there's a drone with a GoPro camera hovering over us for the longest time. And first thing I thought was, I'm sure glad we're doing everything legal and tagging these fish because I got a funny feeling that uh, I'd say that's the old game board keeping an eye in the sky on us. <laughs> He got wrapped up good that time, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, he's smaller than the other ones you got in. Two back to back. They are moving through here. We got boats on this side, boats on that side. Everybody's starting to catch them right now. We might really lay into them here. Stick with us, see what happens. Oh. 
Vigilantes. Pretty good one there, buddy. <laughs> hey, thank you, Mr. Clayton. <laughs> awesome. What are you bringing? This way? Yeah, I'm <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, a double, boys. Go back and forth. Uh-oh. I think I got me one of them. Yeah, he's gone, bro. This feels like a stallion, boys. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. That's really there. Oh, I mean, it feels like a stallion. I can't even hardly budge that fish. And I tell you what, I knew two things. Either that's a good one or I was wore slab out. One of the two, probably both. That's a good one. Whew, I couldn't hardly move that. And Got a bunch of eggs in this one. I rolled one and was sitting there fussing about hooking it and it getting off and rammed right into another one. Son, I'm proud of that. And that's good. Kind of hard to throw that in back, but I don't know, boys. I could probably get one bigger. What do you think, Peyton? <laughs> no? I think you ought to live another day. I think I'm gonna try for a bigger one. Son, I am teasing. I wish everyone <laughs> watching right now could see all these guys' faces in the boat. I think they're about to throw me in if I throw that fish back. Son, that's a dandy. I'm proud of that. I'm done for the day, boys, and I don't care because that right there's a hog. Outdoor vigilantes. I hooked this one, I rolled one, and then hooked this one, and then T yells back there, I got one too, we had a double. I'd say these both big ones, because his broke his 100 pound test. Luckily, I was able to get this one in. Son, bring it to you. Keep it real. Outdoor vigilantes, baby. Woo! Let's get him tagged up. Yeah, oh, about. son, if we can just get him in here, we will be tagged out in Oklahoma. <laughs> son. son, if we can get him in. Oh, we'll get him. How's that old song go, Terry? Well, I cast a spell on you. You saw it, son, first hand right there. I cast a spell on it. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Folks, if you ain't out here trying to snag it out, you are missing out. <laughs> we don't want them to try it, son. Be less fish for us. <laughs> Hey, Terry, <laughs> Terry, pull, 
reel that <laughs> pole down and bring it up some more. Yeah, <laughs> Bill Nutter. <laughs> hey, we, on your we see what happens <laughs> when you do that. Watch this. Where's the hook at? It's on the other side, right in the middle of his body. Right below your hand. Oh. Boy, is that smaller than the other one? It's the same size as this one here in the box, Slim. Let's get a picture anyway. Wait, you can find your way. Okay. Uh -huh. We're going to get out of here, boys. Son, it's middle. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about, son. Woo! Even those other two I turned loose were bigger than that. What do you think, son? It ain't no fun, is it? Go to Kansas, kill turkeys they say we can't kill, can't be killed. Come out here with old Trav and tear up these big old spoon bill. One thing about her, boys, we don't go hungry. <laughs> Son, I tell you what, when Travis said he knew where the spoon bill was in Oklahoma, he knew where they were. Didn't Son, he? he was not lying at all. Day two, we have tagged out once again. You talk about some beetles, boys. The Grand River in Oklahoma, that's all we're telling you. It's a secret honey hole. You're going to have to come check it out. And we're bringing home the meat. Son. <laughs> if you like what you saw on the show today and you'd like to try your hand at snagging, get a hold of Travis Robertson. We'll put his information on the screen so you too can go and have some fun snagging and bringing in these spoonbill.
Travis, sign you knew your stuff when you said come up here with me get these paddlefish. We appreciate you. No problem. We're going to have to do that again. I'm thinking oh, maybe an annual trip. That'd be fine with me. You think you'd be up for that? I'd, I'll come down here anytime anybody wants. <laughs> well, hey, 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 we'll come down here before turkey season, get all this in, and then get back home and do some turkey hunting. Yeah. Heck, yeah, that's what I'm hey, talking he, he about. Said, he said he doesn't like turkey hunting much, well, never got into it much, so we, we might have to take him and do a little <laughs> some of that action. We'll just ruin him. Show yeah. him what that's all about. <laughs> See, we wasn't sure about this when we come.